The Kawhi update is here and we have 10 very surprising features about this update that you just have to know about, including a free potion that lets you level up one of your masteries all the way up. And I have some insight for you guys so you guys can pick the perfect mastery that will help you the best because there is no right answer really for using that potion. But besides that, some of these other changes included in this week's update should have been implemented in the game months ago. So you guys have to watch to the end to find out what those are. I'm also doing a whole new format for this update video. So let me know down in the comments section as well as liking the video if you like this format much better. This is sort of the alternative to just going through and reading the whole dev blog for you guys. So I do hope you guys enjoy this. And also, since we are partnered, we did get access to a whole bunch of these free exclusive Luchador eggs. Now we're going to be doing a video in the next couple days where we go ahead and open every single one of them and give away everything back to you guys. So make sure that you are subscribed so you are ready for when that video does come out. Now let's get right into the 10 things you need to know about this Kawhi update. All right, you guys. So starting off strong with the first thing you need to know about this Kawhi update is that these alleys here at the spawn in the Kawhi world are just useless. So a quick little explanation about how these alleys in the Kawhi world work. All you have to do is go through and destroy the three chests in each of the alley to reveal to see if the egg is behind it. And there's going to be a 25% chance that that egg is there because there is four alleys that the egg can be in. So you could potentially have to grind through the four chests in each of the alleys in order to find the egg. Now, I'll be completely honest. These chests are not hard to break at all if you do have a pretty high level stat pet from this new Kawhi world. Personally, I'm using, I believe, the 36.9 trillion ninja axolot one. And when I use these nightmare orbs, I pretty much two shot these chests. So it's not difficult at all to get through, but it's pretty annoying because even when you do find the egg, it actually only lasts here for an hour, as you can see. Now, the reason why I say that these alleys are completely useless is because this huge cupcake unicorn that you get that you can only open the egg for for an hour hour before you actually have to manually go through all the alleys to find the egg again is the same odds as the new huge that's at this last egg right here that you can open infinitely and on top of that you also have the chance to get one of the new active huges or one of the old active huges while opening for this one anyways so i can't even tell you guys why they would add an egg that you have to find every single hour and make the odds of that egg the same exact as the ones at the end over here and by the way those odds are one in a hundred million if you were wondering now this is according to copycat on Twitter because of course big games doesn't tell us the odds of getting huges for whatever reason so up to my knowledge those are the odds for that huge now that's not even it you guys that is not the only useless thing that was implemented in this update I think you're gonna see a theme but my second point that you really need to know about this update is actually that these chests are completely useless as well you can see I break it pretty easily but another thing you'll notice is that I got pretty much nothing now if we pull up the dev block here you'll see that if we look at the Kawhi boss chest in the dev blog they say that these are tough to break but drop some nice loot now because the fact that they didn't say specifically what nice loot dropped from this I'll tell you guys right away that this chest is just going to be completely useless now I don't know why they wouldn't just make one of the new huges actually drop from this boss chest so it's useful in the slightest but if there was actually something really good that you could get from this chest then they would have said it here in the dev blog so because of that it's just a pretty useless feature of the update but it isn't that difficult to break so if you are just sitting here grinding and you can just put your auto clicker over on it you'll probably destroy it pretty quick so it's like i guess it's kind of a bonus but as well as that all those little chests that i was destroying earlier in the alley are also really bad and they also don't say anywhere in the dev blog or here that you can get anything good from it so just for that reason i would say that all of the chests in this Kawhi update are just pretty much useless unfortunately which leads me to my third tip which I kind of already revealed but this huge that is in this final egg that you can get is a one in a hundred million chance now that's the same odds to get the huge from the alley so if I were you guys I would just open this egg constantly and just leave that alley egg alone because it's just a waste of time going there every hour when you can get a huge for the same exact odds chance 
chance right here. And on top of that, you get the chance at getting this active huge as well as the best stat pet in the game currently, which is this Kawhi Tiger. Now, moving on, probably one of the biggest things actually included in this update is this Ultra Mastery XP potion, which will grant you level 99 of a mastery of your choice. Now, I do have to warn you guys, please take your time when making the decision to actually use this mastery potion. They specifically say in the dev block that this is the only time they're ever going to give you one of these. So you're really going to have to make it count. Now, because there is no wrong or right way to choose this mastery, it really depends on your specific situation. Let me know down in the comment section whether you want me to make a whole video going over like basically kind of like a tier list of the different masteries that you should be completing. Eating. But starting off, probably one of the most useful masteries in the game that's going to generate you the most gems, especially if you are a grinder, is going to be this fruit mastery. Now, just because this is the most useful doesn't necessarily mean you should use your potion on it. The fruit mastery, I believe, costs somewhere between 1 and 1.5 billion diamonds if you want to buy all the fruit in order to max this out. The reason why this is so good is because it allows you to automatically eat fruit, which when you're grinding is pretty huge. But the thing is, eventually, if you play the game, enough you are going to get the max fruit mastery eventually you are going to be able to afford to buy all the fruit needed in order to do this so instead you should probably go for one of these other masteries that is going to be pretty hard to get and honestly i would say that would be the pets mastery because even after all the time that i've played all the egg hatching that i've done and use all the pets to upgrade them to gold rainbow everything i still only have pets mastery level 84. now personally i don't think i would really use it because i don't really use any of the stuff that would benefit me getting the level 99 like the two times daycare speed the two times diamond loot from daycare but i would say this is probably one of the hardest ones to get just because it requires an insane insane amount of pets upgraded in order to max this out another pretty difficult one is this keys mastery i have level 99 on my trading account and i'll tell you guys it took like a hundred thousand keys or something ridiculous i don't even remember how many keys to be honest and like two weeks straight of opening chests in order to get this maxed out so if you do like to gamble and you do like to open chests this might be a good option for you but still i wouldn't suggest it it really just depends on you but i don't want to make this video too long so let me know if you want a more in-depth video on each of the masteries and who should be using them so let me know if you do want that video on an in-depth dive on each of the masteries and who should be upgrading each of those which leads me to the number five thing you need to know which is the rebirth nine that we got access to in this update now that mastery potion that i was just talking about is included in this rebirth and if you want to know the location it is in that last area that we had before for all of these event worlds so area 219 is where you can do the rebirth and you only have to start back at level 200 so you don't have to go like all the way back through any of the other worlds so it's not too bad honestly it didn't take me nearly as long as i thought it would now, besides that mastery potion, the other really important thing you get for doing this rebirth is this supercomputer radio, which allows you to access the supercomputer from everywhere, which is just a complete lifesaver. It's going to save you so much time. So it's definitely worth doing the rebirth. Now, I wish there was an easier way to actually use this uh, radio instead of having to like scroll down all the way in your inventory. Actually, I just remembered that you can actually bind stuff in the keybinds in your settings in game so that's actually super useful i'm gonna bind mine to m really quick and save it right here so now every time i press m i can just access the supercomputer. that is a huge lifesaver you guys have to do this now number six i just gonna talk really quickly about some tips for rebirthing because it has been quite a while since a lot of you guys have had to rebirth because of all of these event worlds and the world three that we've had so just remember if you do want to rebirth really quickly just make sure you are using your coins potions your cocktail potions and then usually i use a setup sort of like this right here i'll use super magnet two coins books probably a criticals book 
a fortune book, and then pretty much everything else doesn't really matter because you're going to be doing the max amount of criticals that you can, as well as generating as much coins as possible from the fortune and then two coins books, which actually leads me into point seven because these coins nine books are no longer the top level books that you can get. You can actually get coins 10. So I would definitely suggest going through and upgrading all of your enchants in your loadout to get those new tiers of enchants like right here if we upgrade our eight coins nine books we will get this coin 10 book which is a 20 percent bonus over the coins nine and then surprisingly enough we actually did get tier 11 potions as well in this update so as you can see these tier 10s are no longer the top dogs you can upgrade to these really cool looking tier 11 now just remember there is a limit to how much boosts really help you in the game and i'm not sure if these new potions are kind of pushing those limits so i don't think you really need to use tier 11 potions at all times these are going to take up a lot of your potions and be pretty pretty expensive so I'm not sure if they are necessarily needed but it's good that those options are there for you guys now really quickly besides the new active huges and the two huges that are in this Kawhi world we do have a sixth huge actually that is included here in the free gifts so make sure you are redeeming your free rewards because it's going to give you a chance for the huge Kawhi tiger i did forget to mention that earlier so i just wanted to quickly include that right now which leads me to number nine on this list which is actually the feature of having your auto farm now resuming after you leave a mini game now i'm sure 99 of you have experienced this when you go into a mini game while your pets were auto farming in the last area and when you get out your pets are automatically put right back on you and no longer grinding which is a major headache so I'm so glad that Big Games finally fixed this and added this feature to the game. Honestly, it's something they should have put in the game many, many, many months ago. So it's kind of sad that we have to be happy about them adding these features. Some of these features should have just been thought about right away when the thing was created. And finally, the last long awaited feature that we got in the Kawhi update is the ability to access your booth's history. Now, I'm pretty sure from what I was told, the booth history only lasts like 20 something days. So any trades that you have beyond that, you cannot see, unfortunately. So it is pretty limited, but it is still a very good feature to have. When I was trading a ton, I always forgot which things I was selling and which things sold when I came back from AFK. And so that is a very good feature to have but besides that that is pretty much it for this week's update again let me know down in the comment section whether you want a super in-depth video about which masteries you guys should be choosing i'm completely down with making a video for that also give the video a like if you like this format for going over the update as well but as always thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out